What's it happening, my loves? How is everyone? I hope good. I am here with part two of what they find so attractive about you. Let's get started. Where I left off. Um, you received the well uh, deserved rewards card. So they find it attractive that you have so many rewards coming your way. Maybe you went through a really rough time in your life and you're now starting to see the rewards coming towards you. You never gave up, you never you know, lost hope in what you were trying to achieve or trying to prove or whatever your situation is, and you are now being rewarded and they find that very attractive about you. Um, they find that you stand for what's right, uh, you are strong, you radiate just brilliant, you know, lovely, attractive light. You know your worth, you just are very attractive. So, truth, you, this is uh, the second time we received the truth card. You are a person that stands in their truth. You fight for the truth to come out. You want the truth from everyone, even if it hurts, and they find that very attractive. They might find um, the way you dress attractive. They might like when you wear kind of baggy clothes, maybe long skirts, um, that you look to the universe, see as they're looking out, to uh, to definitely guide you, to give you the answers, and you, you have faith in the universe that the truth in every situation in yours or in anyone else's will come out, and they find that very attractive. You have the prayer card. They find it very attractive that you're so connected to whatever you believe in, that you believe in prayer. You um, promote that other people pray for what they want. Um, they might find it attractive when you wear yellow, maybe a light yellow. They, they find it attractive that you like the outdoors, that you're an outdoors person. Maybe they like find it attractive that you like to drink. This could be like, you know, a vodka with lemons or something. Or just maybe don't drink and you just drink water with lemons. But they um, find it very attractive that you believe in the higher, you know, higher above and all that. So the next one I pulled is the five of coins. And even when you uh, experience like, let's say financial troubles or physical hardships, you stay positive and you are able to figure things out to get through them easily or maybe not easily, but you always work things out and you always come out on top of them. Um, you, uh, you, you have a hard time, I'd say, um, asking for help though, when, when you are down and out, um, as you feel that, you know, no one's responsible to kind of pick up the pieces for you to support you or whatever. Um, when others may lose faith, you never do. As you know, if you have faith, um, it will help you and it will help the universe bring you what you deserve. And then, um, what else? You never allow situations like, you know, hardships, financial hardships to bring you down or make you feel like you're a bad person or not good enough. So they find that very attractive about you. Um, they love your hair, obviously. You're um, looking into the light so they know that you um, look to the universe and you can see the universe on the outside to help you in, you know, when you're down and out. So they find that very attractive about you. So that's very attractive. Empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of the situation. Uh, they find it very attractive that you are able to see other people's sides of, you know, let's say you're trying or you break up with somebody. You actually take time out to feel what they're feeling because you're empathetic, obviously. Um, you're able to feel what they're feeling, but you're also able to logically understand what and why this happened or why somebody, you know that they're attracted to you, you know that they, there's love there, but they're not able to be with you. You empathize with them because you you know that not everything is going to be work out in your favor. Not every circumstance is really, it's not that they don't want to be with you, it's because they're already in a relationship or they're trying to get their careers going or their financial lack or whatever their circumstances are. And that's just an example, but they find it very, you know, attractive that you are so empathetic. Body changes. Um, maybe you really, maybe, maybe you're aging really well. Maybe your body is just smoking freaking hot. Maybe you take pride in your body. Um, when you notice that, you know, something's starting to sag, you really work hard to not let that sag. Um, also, 
transforming again. They find it very attractive that you have transformed into this beautiful, beautiful butterfly. Maybe you were heavy before. Maybe you drank too much and you let your body go to shit. Or maybe you just really didn't really watch what you eat, you know, you ate. Or you didn't exercise. Maybe you had a desk job and you just really didn't, you know, take care of your physical out, outside appearance. And they just find it very attractive that you have transformed into this beautiful or handsome butterfly um, and that you really take pride in your body and how it's changing and maybe you're getting older and you really you know you take pride in it to to try and stay young and you know have that vibrant you know young feeling or look or whatever I go where you go tell me are you finding that the occasional stranger has a crush on you that for words you've almost mindlessly chosen hearts broken too long begin to heal that for words you have almost mindlessly chosen hearts broken too long begin to heal that eyes sometimes well up with tears when it's time to say goodbye remarkable our findings exactly Psst, you're divinely guided and I can't see that you're divinely guided to show your emotional and vulnerable side. Sorry, the universe. God, I couldn't get that out. Could I? Retrograde is still hit me, so I'm sorry. Um, they, they like that you are loyal. I get that from this card. They find that very attractive. They, they find it attractive that, you know, you are a really wanted person. People really want to be in your life. People really want to maybe date you, maybe marry you. They find it um, very attractive that you're not afraid to show your emotions, um, that you you have, maybe you went through a really rough time and maybe they're seeing you or if they've watched you, you know, heal from that horrible time that you went through and you're finally healing and you're not showing, you know, you're not crying as much, you're not hurt as much, you're just, you're starting to transform into that beautiful butterfly in the last card. And you're starting to be able to live and be yourself and you're just not really down in the dumps anymore and maybe you guys are going maybe it's your twin flame maybe you're going on this journey together and you're healing at the same time and so but they find just i don't know they just find everything attractive about you the next one is ace of swords victory they find it very attractive that you've you know you've conquered you've fought to have this victory in your life Maybe, you know, somebody broke your heart. Maybe somebody really, really did you wrong and you've never given up and you have, you know, received this victory or maybe you're about to receive this victory and they find that so very attractive that you never gave up. You never allowed what people thought or, you know, how people perceived you. If they thought you were crazy or just, you know, you had lost your mind or that you were the bad one and you have fought for this victory to clear your name, to get you know, the justice that you deserve. And, you know, they people do find that attractive about you. It shows your strength. It shows your willpower. And it shows that you'll never give up on them. So, your next card is, we are all mad here. Everyone is a little different. They find it attractive that you do not, you do not um, conform to society's, you know, what's acceptable to society. You're different. You look different. You act different. You... You don't worry about what people think. You don't have to dress a certain way. You don't have to wear your hair a certain way. Um, you don't have to think a certain way. Uh, and if you look at her, uh, she has one of, you know, kind of mysterious eyes. She has a resting bitch face. Maybe they find that attractive about you. They love the shine of your hair. They find that attractive. They, uh, your lips, they kind of like when you pout a little bit. Maybe they find that attractive too. She looks like she's pouting. Um, they find your eyes to be very attractive. The fact that you like cats, they find that very attractive. Your hands, your skin. And if you see the heart there, you're always projecting love out into the world. They might like it when you wear your hair curly. They find that attractive. And if you're a man, you know, maybe you have curly hair. They find that very attractive. Um, and that's what I get with that card, so... We have witch's hat, power. They find it attractive if you are a witch and you're proud of it, you are not afraid to tell people. Uh, they're very attractive that you're so powerful and that you, you might be 
you might have many gifts you might be connected to the divine and to different realms and to different like beings and to you know you might have a lot of power a lot of magical power you know you might be a really strong witch they find that very uh, attractive and most people either they fear it or they're attracted to it or, but they're still they still fear it or they're just really attracted attracted to it they're drawn to it and they want to know more about it so um you radiate light obviously even though you are a witch you you are probably a green witch means meaning that you would do no harm to you know people because there's green there they might like when you wear green they might like when you wear just like bright cheerful colors um they might like when you wear hats on your head so they find all that attractive about you your next one is believe and succeed they find it attractive that you have you believe in yourself you believe in your you know your journey in your goals in your you know all your desires be because it seems to me that you always succeed because you never ever doubt what you want and you always have faith and hope and you always believe that if you're a good person you love you're kind all that good stuff that the universe will help you succeed in everything you do um, colors again they might like you when you wear different colors uh, the water's there again so they're attracted that you like the water so much maybe you like to go out boating we have prosperity begins obviously they're attracted that you are able to have prosperity in your life that you're able to create that prosperity to achieve it so that is very attractive they might find your hands to be very attractive they might be somebody that really really likes hands they might like or be attracted that your skin is just like it's so so soft maybe you like to touch that person or you know whomever you you touch maybe you offer comfort that's like a comforting thing they find that attractive they like they're um, attracted that you're so grounded to the earth see the roots and the trees grounded to the earth that you have a connection with trees I'm assuming and maybe be, they're attracted that you like fruit because there's fruit that's what I see oh they're attracted that see the seed that you plant your seeds also see here guilt what makes you attractive is that we all carry guilt we all have been guilty about things in our life and um, sometimes it's hard to let go of the guilt sometimes it's you know it's just something that we we all struggle with but you're able to face it you're able to you know forgive yourself for it forgive other people for it and you don't try to make other people feel guilty you don't want people to feel guilty say somebody you're you're so attracted to someone and you want to date them and you just know that there's something there but that person is already taken or they aren't ready for that you're not a type of person that would just totally guilt trip them you don't want them to feel guilty you know you don't want people to live in this guilt because guilt really drags us down guilt makes our life you know dark and just not good you know doesn't leave us in a good place so you release your guilt and you want other people to release their guilt also um, but we, of course we can't make other people release their guilt you might be a really good homemaker you might take care of the person that you're with or your family I hate to iron I don't iron at all I just don't like it. if I have to iron it I won't wear it seriously because I'm not good at it and I just don't like it uh, you see the halo over her head maybe they are attracted that they find you to be an angel maybe you walked into their life at the right time maybe you're, you have helped them to conquer many things um, they just find you to be an angel sent from the universe to them to help them to love them to take care of them um, and that's all I get with that one. So your next card is going to be the sun. Well, with the sun, obviously, they you bring so much sun, and, you know, like happiness and and joy into their life, and they just find that so very attractive. Um, you add, well, I just said that you add joy, happiness, and maybe some clarity to everyone's lives that you you're in, that you come into contact with. And you teach and show others that life is meant to 
have joy. Life is meant to not be so serious. That life is meant to, you know, have fun and, you know, feel the joy and the excitement and have the adventure in it. You, you, you teach people that. You radiate that. Um, they find it attractive that you like sunflowers because those are all sunflowers. So they find that very attractive. They might be dancing. They kind of look like they're dancing. So they might find it attractive that you love to dance or they, the way you dance is very attractive. That you're so connected to the sun. Maybe you're, you're like me. My name's Sunny. So maybe your name's Sunny. So maybe that's why. But you bring a lot of happiness and joy and, you know, adventure and excitement to their life. And a lot of people don't add that. So your next one is pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. You have pride, but you do not think you're better than anyone else ever. If you were the richest person on this, you know, in this world, you would never look down on a poor person. You would never, you know, judge them. You wouldn't let your pride get in the way. You don't, you know, you don't let your pride stop you. If you want something, you go after it. Even if your pride is hurt again, you're, you're not, you're a prideful person, but not with the ego attached to it. You radiate pride, you know, you help other people be prideful of themselves and to love themselves, you know, enough to, to know what they deserve and what, you know, what type of people they should have in their life and what kind of relationships and just to have more pride. We all need more pride in our life. Your next one is decisions. They find it attractive that you're able to make decisions. You might be the type of person that it might take a little, you know, a while to make it because you really go within yourself to make the right decision for yourself and for others. But you, um, you don't just make a decision, you know, right away. You just don't, you know, say you want to buy a house. Well, you see this house that you love and, oh gosh, it's your perfect house. We don't just buy it. You go and think about it and, you know, weigh out the options and everything. And if it's going to be a perfect fit and whatever else, and then you make the decision. Again, they also um, find it attractive that you have transformed into this beautiful butterfly, that you love flowers. So let's keep going here. Early disappointments were just rehearsal for the greater for the great stuff coming your way. Never regret love, no matter how blind. It improved your vision, no matter how foolish it made you wiser. And no matter how generous, it made you more. Hubba hubba universe. They find it very attractive that, you know, all your disappointments, all your hurts, all the pain that you went through, you know, in your past, you don't regret it. You actually look at it as, you know what, I'm, it helped me transform into the butterfly that, that I showed you. It helped me learn lessons that needed, I needed to learn to be a better person, to to have pride in myself, to love myself more, to know what I deserve. Um, you never regret loving anyone because, you know, we all should love each other. There are times where we lose that love, sure, but, you know, um, you just, you, even though you've had disappointments, you don't regret them. You're not afraid, you're not ashamed, you're not afraid of judgment from other people. You talk about them, you, you know, you, you learn from them and you, have transformed into who you are today and that's why you're so attractive to people is because you've allowed your disappointments to make you such a more stronger beautiful handsome person that really never regrets anything that they've done if you've made a bad decision nothing because you know that you were supposed to do it you have learned from it and you have transformed and it's helped you transform into who you are today. So that's awesome. We have uh, King of Wands, practicality. And with this, um, you are a person that is a action type, which makes you a very engaging companion and very inspiring leader. So they find that extremely attractive about you. Um, you have a gift of knowing what others are thinking, you're self-motivating, you're dynamic and um, open-minded. You like to maybe travel, I get with this. You're able to connect to many types of people that have different backgrounds. You are practical to problem solving and have a network of friends and professionals 
like contacts and like them to grow. You like to have more, you know, you never have enough people in your life. So, but you are very practical. You can solve problems with being very, very practical. And that is very, you know, um, that is very attractive to, attractive to them. Um, if you're a man, they like your facial hair. They find it attractive. Your hair, you might have long hair. Again, they, they find your muscles and your skin to be very attractive. You might, you know, you might be this king. And they find that very, very attractive. You might be strong and loving and just, you know, just a great, great person. So, I'm about ready to run out of time. I only have two, I only have, well, I still have four left. Uh, wonder what will happen, ready in a, to, a, excuse me, I wonder what will happen next. Ready to adventure, um, you like change, pause before action. Um, you're always, you're always willing to go on a new adventure. You, you're always ready for the next step in life. You're always ready for the next fun, you know, thing that you're going to do or, you know, whatever. Your next goal to that you're going to achieve. You're just always ready for the next thing that's going to happen in your life. And that's very attractive because people don't like change. Maybe you're the type of person that loves change. Um, real quick, your eyes, your hair, your skin, the shape of your face, your lips. They, they might find it attractive when you wear blue. You have a resting bitch face again or an innocent, mysterious, and they find that very attractive. And again, you might like cats and they find that extremely attractive, so they must be a cat person. You have earth grounding. They find it attractive that you are so um, grounded to the earth that you are able to stay grounded, that you appreciate and give much gratitude for everything on this earth, the beauty, the, you know, the wildlife, the trees, the you know, the open fields, um, the blue skies, you just very, very grounded and you really, really um, represent the beauty of this earth and that makes you attractive. We have blossom. You blossomed. You blossomed from whatever you were before into this beautiful, beautiful bright light that radiates off of you, that swirls around, that you share with the entire, you know, everyone that you come into contact with. Even if you don't come into contact with them, you still, your light, you know, shares or spreads throughout everybody. They all see it, they all feel it, and they all love it. Um, they f find your profile to be very attractive. Your nose, your eyes, your hair, your arms, your hands, your smile, she's smiling, and they just, you radiate this, bright, loving light, and that's the most attractive thing that they've ever seen in their entire life. So, mental conflict. Attractive that you, even if you are in mental conflict, you're able to get out of that. You don't stay stuck there for too long. Um, you don't allow it to affect yourself or how you relate to other people. They find your eyes to be attractive, your nose, maybe your, you know, serious face. Man, you know, facial hair again, they find it attractive if you are bald, uh, your ears. And if you wear bright colors, you know, they find that very attractive too. And last but not least, workaholic. You are a hard worker. You really put your pride, you're all into your work. You might be a workaholic and they find that attractive about you. Maybe they are a workaholic. Um, Maybe you are creative, maybe you paint, that's what you do, and you work really hard, maybe you're very creative, maybe your stuff is really different, but they really, really find attractive that you are a hard worker, you don't expect anybody to take care of you, you can, you know, take care of yourself, not saying that you wouldn't mind somebody to come in and, you know, share some stuff with you to make it equal and have somebody in your life to love and care for. Um, they find it very attractive that you are so creative and talented they do, I'm hearing they do love whatever you create. They find, they just, they love it. They think that you're extremely talented. And I, I, I don't know where I got this, but it, they're just really proud of you. They're proud that you're, that you're, that you work so hard, that you, you show the world your, you know, your style of art, that you share that with the world because it makes this world a better place. It is who you are and they just, find you to be very, and it made me emotional, whoa, 
find you to be very, very attractive in every quality, everything about you, everything in this reading, part one and part two, and more. I mean, I could go on and on and on telling you what this person finds attractive about you or the people, all the people around you. So if you didn't think you were attractive before, please know that you are extremely attractive. People love you. People find everything that you do in your life to be attractive. Even in the negative stuff they find attractive. Even when you're down and out in mental conflict, when you're, you know, fighting for a victory in something that you might not win, but you're not going to give up. So you need to know that you are loved, you are appreciated, you are admired, you are so attractive to everyone that you come into contact with, even if people don't treat you th that way. If people are mean and, you know, they talk about you, just know it's because they're jealous of you because you are so attractive in every sense. You are a dream come true to most people because you are attractive in every quality of life. So that's awesome. This is an awesome reading. I enjoyed doing it. I'm going to let you go because my video is going to stop. I'm out of room, of course. I'm sending you all so much love, so many positive vibes. Thank you again for watching my videos. Thank you to all my subscribers. I love you all so dearly. I'm sending you guys all positive vibes. So many hugs, so many kisses, tons of love, healing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so because it helps my channel grow. It helps me stay on YouTube to be able to give these messages to you. And it helps me as a person. Love you all so much. Have a great day. I will see you on my next video. Peace.